Lagba, I don't think Lagbaja was an hotel artist. He wasn't hotel in terms of his music. Yeah. Or his personality would probably be categorized as hotel. Oriate! When he mm. bought the nominated for head, he's like, ah, what category? Because at that time, like, hotel category wasn't even a thing. I, I don't know, some just lit up. He opened doors for me. You actually, you're actually the first producer to actually win alternative awards from, like, our scene. Your legacy in this alternative community has already been stamped. True. And it has been approved by the headies. Alter elements is literally one word. Freedom. I don't have budget. I'll find a way. I want to stand as weird as possible. I'll find a way. Some guys want to paint their nails. Give them. Nobody else in the world, like, if I don't know a Santi released music, it would just be music. But it's alternative because guys are in night. As far as alter, it's actually a community. Anybody that is alter is anybody that is not in the previous generation. She gets. Okay. Like, she gets. I feel like I feel like regardless of whatever kind of music you do, you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. In the next five to ten years, when alter scene is going to be mainstream, it's never going to be called alter anymore. I'm telling you guys, but it's going to be mainstream. What, what What do you think about Adekule? Adekule's music always stood out. Can you really say he's alter because he had some alternative songs? Fair. Or because now he has rebranded and he's dressing in a more alter- alternative way, would you still say he's alter? Do you get know what I'm saying? So it's actually very tough with him for sure. But what's your what's your favorite song from the alter scene like ever? What's like your best from like any alter artist? I feel like the biggest alter song in my head or the song that like stamps like there was a real movement in alter is Rodina. Yeah, if that makes any sense. I feel like that was that was a moment. It's like everyone just automatically assumes that oh, alternative yeah. artists are like these artists that are all schooled abroad or all live in this place. They are all snobs, blah blah blah. When it's like most of the pioneers actually created so many classics and amazing alternative songs on the mainland, and even some of them never even traveled till like recently or stuff like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, it's definitely not. I feel like anyone that's trying to put now, yeah, yeah. Fail because this is something that's going to grow on its own. Man. You know, the new gen, next gen have to look at what the old gen did, flip it, do their own, add their own. Do you understand? Like, remember, and Alpha P, would you call them alternative? Iron Man may have taken off in other markets outside Nigeria. Yeah, it doesn't take away from the success of that song. What would he have been in? Been able to do as many shows and get as much radio play as it may be. That's the question. And yeah. let's just say before Rema, before Rema popped, yeah. And they offered you Iron Man or maybe Which record are you taking? Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Powers, obviously, you've done other amazing beats for different people in your life. Yeah. DR. Yeah, of course. What is, what is the uh, mini last song you produced? Um, Jiggy Jiggy. One day I went to a co-hotel to talk to you. Next thing I saw Nini. Let's, let's go to the car, go listen to it. The moment I played the beat, you know, like, oh yeah, ODH, ODH, let's record, let's record. I've never met Nini up before. That was hmm. the first time. I kid you not, that was one take. I would really love if artists could, like, have a say on the beat in the intro. Yeah. In, in the beginning, when, when I'm making it, because it's really tiring having to make like oh thinking oh what would be a dope joint for this artist and what oh there's artist. always like this mainland island divide or school abroad school night divide we're all pairs and we're all making music if they are seen as the alter pioneers yeah to me they are be an afro b group because your biggest songs or your best songs are have always like had this kind of like african like um thing to it so if Rema comes out on a Dume B, isn't that really what alternative should be about whereby you're fusing the current sound in the world with your African twist? Mm-hmm.